I thought it was madness. I thought they'd finally lost the plot. I think when Stephen and Mark first said that we wanted to set it in Victorian England, I thought they'd gone bonkers. And then I thought, that's going to be expensive. And then eventually, when they told me the idea properly, I thought, no, that's, that's going to be stunning. Yeah, I think, I think it works. I really, well, I know it works now that we're doing it. The stage is set. The curtain rises. We are ready to begin. I suppose we can boast and say we've got the Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson uh, of this current time uh, in, in, in Martin and Benedict. I think, I, think, I think we can claim that now it's been such a huge success. And part of the impulse came from me and Mark saying, you know, wouldn't it be a shame if we never got to see them do it in the authentic setting? And rather like Rathbone and Bruce played it both Victorian and, and updated, this means that uh, Cumberbatch and Freeman can do the same. So it was, it was irresistible to do a special that is Victorian, say this is what it would have been had we done it right, as it were, as it done it authentically. I do wish you'd let me know when you're planning to come home. I hardly knew myself, Mrs. Hudson. I had some trouble with dismembered country squires, they're notoriously difficult to schedule. The Victorian angle was very exciting to me just because we hadn't gone there before. So I think it's been nice for Stephen and Mark to revisit that or to visit it for the first time as writers. And certainly for me and Ben, I think it's quite exciting just to put different clobber on, you know, to have a different sort of moustache. I, I like that. I think Victorian London and all the sort of trappings of that era are endlessly fascinating. The sort of ghoulish, nightmarish, fog-laden, dark corners and alleyways, the dampness, the sort of whole kind of claustrophobic night world that he inhabits. It's a, it's a masterful sort of lens on that whole era as well. Got Ben and Martin and Victorian stuff running around solving crimes. It's perfect, really. Yeah. <laughs> Extraordinary. What a life those gentlemen lead. Yes, those gentlemen. I know being asked, how will fans react to the Victorian setting? It's not so long ago that people were asking us, how will they react to the, the modern setting? I, th I think they'll, if they enjoy Sherlock, I think they'll enjoy this show. But it is, yes, it's a very, very different episode, as they say, a very special episode. They're going to just love this, you know, because it's a very affectionate, amusing Sherlock. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It, it, it really it, it works hard uh, to make it work, and it really does. We're not trying to maintain a balance between doing new things and, uh, and recreating the old things. We're just, uh, we're just trying to do Sherlock Holmes. I, I think uh, we've not disappointed them in the past, and this certainly won't disappoint, so I hope they enjoy it. The name is Sherlock Holmes and the address is 221B Baker Street. This one. Why? You're Sherlock Holmes, wear the damn hat. We've made ten in the time that Guy Ritchie's made two. Stop getting on our case. <laughs>